All right, how's it going? This is Sir. I am now VOD reviewing Sandshark. So he's a low gold, just basically trying to climb the ladder. Got his own stream going. And basically he's just hard asked for some help, so just doing a bit of a review. I mean, first thing I would notice is uh, awesome mustache and glasses that you got there. But also, just where your actual, you know, yourself is, is actually covering up the ammo and the abilities. So it might be a good thing to slightly make yourself smaller, go somewhere around here or here or wherever um because it doesn't help me when i review so just a little tip there but basically let's um give you a bit of a shave and remove those glasses and let's get into it anyway oh, okay anyway let's just play smart communicate we should be fine perfect that's what i like to hear i'll make call out to who i discord beautiful that's what i like to hear as well Alright, first thing I noticed there is you just didn't orb any of the frontline people, so the Winston or the Soldier or the Genji. You know, basically the Genji or uh, Winston you want to orb, because they're most likely going to be just right at the front line. Just, it's just a tiny thing they that can make right? the no, difference. Got a I got you Genji, ah, oh, not anymore. Uh, unfortunately, you're just a bit too slow on getting you orb to Genji. He may not have died, he may have died, whatever. It's a bad situation there. Oh, sorry. Oof. Don't know what that Mercy's doing. She's basically just jumped right in the enemy. Ah. Uh, the most freest kill ever. So, obviously you can see rockets coming down from here. You know, and if you hear on the headphones, you can hear noises coming, you know, from behind you. So, you know, really pay attention to the noises and where things are coming from. Because if there's a fire alone just to the left... Then you can probably just quickly take her out. Just look left or shoot at her and then, yeah, carry on uh, with the enemy team. But unfortunately, you have obviously lost your Mercy, you've lost your Genji, so it's probably a good idea to just back out. Okay, this is a very bad idea. You know, your your team is to the left. Basically, you've just gone right in the front line here. The whole enemy is just like looking right at you. Lots of spam ability, you got the hook from Roadhog, so let's uh, see if we make it out alive. Yeah, fall back, guys. Okay, that was clutch. So the Zari just bubbled you, if you saw that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Cesare bubble, hook coming in. Fall back, guys. Would have hooked you. And just, oh, just a little tip as well, let's make sure you're obviously looking at the enemy team or where the enemy team could be. You don't want to just be randomly just looking to the side. Um, Ox Solo, how's your day? Thank you so much for the follow, Ox Solo. How's your day been so far, man? Yeah, one second. Again, a little bit tipper. I mean, it took a little while to get the orb on Soldier there. He was in the front line, he had a bit of damage taken away. And his arrow's sort of like back and forth, backing up. So just make sure you look out for that. He's, he's discorded. No, he's not. That was just. I see usually a lot of right clicks. I mean, when you've got bubbles and people trying to peek around corners, uh, you probably just want to spam. Just spam your um, left click. You know, don't charge up any orbs. But so you want to charge up orbs when you're like sort of ducking, ducking yourself around corners, trying to hopefully pick out an enemy. So at this point, you know, you just spam, put pressure on them for poking out. Score to get him. Puts this down. Junkrat's right still in that room. And you've got to be careful with Junkrat spam. It's pretty easy to dodge, as you can see it coming towards you. Luckily, should we go around the that left? didn't kill you. The Junkrat's to the right. We should go around the left. Frodog's discorded. And with your comp, yeah, I'd definitely recommend, you know, got McCree, got a Zen, things like that. You probably just want, usually the best thing to do is take the high ground. Uh, if your team isn't listen, listening to you that much, you probably just have to play with around, your, around with your team. Oh, he's almost dead, damn it. So at that point, when you say almost dead, I mean, most, most of your team's going to notice, but if you just shout out Roadhog 1, you know, basically one bar, Roadhog 1, uh, hopefully anyone else that's in the vicinity can turn around and just shoot and just do that last little damage. All right, where's Junkrat? Um. Ah, so the whole enemy team is down here, and you're Zen alone that's jumped down here. Or whoever's left with the enemy teams so are not probably a good position for you to be in. Mercy's down. 
But then you got the uh, killer under mercy, which is awesome. Ah, uh, she forced my ult. I'm sorry, guys. Alrighty, alrighty. So that's probably a really bad thing to do there. You know, as Zen, you know, your ultimate is very, very crucial. You know, if Farah's ulting, Rodox ulting, or something, you you know, you want to save your ult for that to just save your whole entire team from ultimates. You never want to use it to get about get out of a situation. You know, at that point, you've basically just taken a point. You know, they can. Uh, your team can take out Moira, finish her off, and by the time you've respawned, yeah, the enemy team shouldn't be pushing by then. So, in that situation, you're better off just dying. So, one thing I, I, I notice here obviously, the Moira is still down there. You know, you have your whole enemy team, you can just go there, stagger her, and kill her quickly. So you want to make that call, you know, Moy's still down there, go and grab her, you know, even if you, um, when he goes down, you know, when he goes down the bottom here, others sort of like corner her, just make sure you get the kill, and it's an easy last minute stagger. That's what you want, you buy in time, staggering kills. Junkrat's discorded. You gotta go. Sorry, be back. Catch you on no time to catch it. Thanks, Oxalo, for dropping my anyway. I appreciate it, man. So there she was, just in the. Uh, she saw. Oh. Okay, using the wrong thing right there. No so there she is, just right there. So, you know, indicate easy kill. If you're all jumping her quickly, you're gonna stagger her. So just make sure you give call outs like that. Catch it. Thanks, Oxalo, for dropping my anyway. I appreciate it, man. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, shit. So it looks like half of you holding out the choke. You know, obviously this is a team-based thing, so, you know, you can always do the call-outs, you know, McCree. Make, you usually want to generally hold out the choke and then push pull back when you need to. So all up there, hiding, dancing around the choke and just trying to get some kills in Are there. they all left? Spread out. That's unfortunate. I mean... Generally, yeah, you want to split it if a uh, tie comes in, but you also want to try and all shoot at it. You know, they don't. Tie has what hundred life, so it takes a couple of shots, especially McCree. You know, to take it out. So, you know, generally you want to try and hear hear where the tie is coming from. All, if anyone sees it, point out where it is, and then try and take it out. And uh, don't just try and hide all the time. Reapers after me. I'm dead. I mean, at that situation where McCree was dead, you were basically on your own as your whole team was just like up here at the top and, you know, monkey over here. You want to make sure, get out of there. You want to come back down here and join the rest of your team up here. And while you're doing that, you also you can just sort of spam at the enemy team. Oh. Can you get me? I'm in that little room over there. So unfortunately, it's probably a bit of a bad call. I mean, most of your team is on the other side. You're alone there in a tight room with the possibility of, you know, Roadhog, uh, Reaper, Junkrat and all that. So it's not going to be a good idea for Messi to go in that because she can be killed very, very easy along with along with yourself straight away. So I'd expect you to die probably immediately. Ah, oh, shit. Nah, that Junkrat got me yep. again. So with Mercy Art, you basically want to group up. Obviously, you can't res everyone, so you want to make sure all of your team is grouped up, getting heals or the bus or the um, damage boost. Shit, regroup. I mean... At this point, you know, you basically won the, lost the fight, sorry. So, if you can, and the people going up there, you wanna contest the point and just stall it out as much as you can. Get as much time percentage on your side. <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, but yeah, basically now that you've lost, you don't wanna poke damage or anything like that, you just wanna group up and then go in as a team. Yeah, what's up? They decided to change games to Overwatch. Oh, so you rage quit? Yeah, I didn't. I just didn't see the point of just constantly repeating, and I felt like playing Overwatch. 
So you probably want All to keep right, it. I mean, just that orb there, you just probably want to keep on Zara. She's in front line. She was constantly taking damage. You know, soldier. A second. Soldier. Yeah, just came in there. So probably just a little bad orb right there. I got you. Oh, shit. And if you heard just before, um, you would have heard someone to the left, you know, behind you. And I'll see there's a monkey me. in your face. He's, he's discorded. Now, he still has quite a bit of health, unless you're a very good at aiming and get lots of headshots. He can obviously kill you quite quickly, so... This is kind of down to skill, and if anyone's willing to help you. I mean, you've done the right thing, call out Winston's to the left. Yeah, Winston can be quickly mowed down if he was concentrated, and especially He's after me, help me please. So you never want to, I mean, basically you never want to look away like this. It's probably a very bad thing on you, you know. There's no benefit of looking towards your teammates like that you know you still want to look at him walk backwards obviously you want to be careful of not falling off the edge but walk backwards still shooting at him hopefully you might get a bit of a clutch or just you just kill him before he kills you ah oh, fuck he's around the left Winston is discorded no he's not there he is so I mean, one thing is the call out. So Winston just called it. So, but also, you know, Winston in the back line. You know, you want to shout out to your teammates probably a bit more thoroughly. You know, Winston in the back line, Winston low. You know, or focus Winston or something like that. Because if you all focus on Winston immediately, jump on him, he's going to die straight away, especially without any support. So that that was pretty easy. Oh no! Unfortunately, yeah. Your whole team was sort of to the, to the right here. You had someone going up there. And basically the whole enemy team just had sight lines as you walk through there. So basically make sure you never want to tread this path. If anything, you try and duck in and out of here. Again, with Zen, you, you don't need to be... You don't need to go right up to the front lines. You know, you have no dis, you know drop-off damage over distance. So you can just spam from a very far distance and heal from a very far distance so you never want to you know get too close to be honest oh. fuck get that roadhog please get back on guys so again just a little indication just 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 right there you saw the reaper just in that little room just you can always do a quick sh shout out you know reaper in the room to the right on his own or something like that you can always help out get back on guys who's still on the point oh nice good nice job i'm coming back i'm coming back unfortunately you know when you've respawned also you can't spectate any of your other teammates so you're not sure what's going on so saying who's still on the point probably just cladding up the comms so it's not really helping anyone so you probably just want to avoid things like that shit i'm coming mercy i got you i'm discording the reaper oh fuck so again never want to look away basically you want to try and hear where the tire's coming from call out where it where it is and then try and destroy it sometimes you just want to run away that's for sure i mean sometimes that's the only way Fuck it. Ouch. I mean, that comes down to skill. I mean, he was pretty low, so you could have easily won that, but unfortunately, you just didn't get too many shots on him. Especially if Discorded, he would have died in a, two more shots there. Or, yeah, one in a bit more shots. Hell, this Winston just keeps getting my ass. He's, he's... And as you see, his soldier managed to destroy the tire. On the left platform. So, you want to say Winston very low, you know, two bars, three bars, or whatever, very low on the platform. Focus him, you can kill him quickly. Ash. Except when he has ult and he basically gets 1000 HP. Shit. You can, you can help us, Mercy. Get the reses in, Mercy. I have faith in you. Ah, uh, get the other Mercy. Shit. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so you're trying to shoot down the Mercy. It's probably not the best idea unless everyone's shooting at the Mercy. Unless you're very good aim. It's very hard to kill a flying, 
the moth or whatever people call her. Otherwise, yeah, you want to focus on other targets, get them down. You know, she can't heal through burst damage, especially with Discord. I gotcha. Probably a slight questionable. Oh, I mean, you've down quite a few people. They've obviously got res and quite a few people there. So, and you already have 99%. So what you could have done before is just save all your ults, let them have the point, And then you would come back basically with Zen ult, Mercy ult, and any other ults that you might have. Okay, so you definitely don't want to be doing this, trying to go into a small room, especially if Reaper or two people in there is Zen. You want to try and stay as far back as you can, especially if the upper floor on the other end is uncontested. You oh! want to get on there. So you see over there, I see someone is needs some health. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're healing. So make sure the Mercy, as you see, the Mercy is healing you, and she's only got a fraction left. So you want to make sure that you got your orb on someone that needs it. So, so if you had an orb on her, because it was only Winston sort of attacking her, she could have survived that. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I try my best. Cool. Water's down. Nice dink. So you got your orb on. Looks like Zarya. When your other people uh, would definitely need it a lot more. So just try and always keep an eye on. Who you've got your orb on who needs it the most you know if, if it's a tank and they've got like half the health over a dps that's got half health you probably just want on the dps because they've got obviously only got 100 health left or something that um reaper's almost down that's all right we got it nice cool so just a tip for general you know whenever reaper goes into wraith form zen can build up uh, a right click and take him down in one shot if you're accurate enough but um yeah you never want to sort of get any space like that if anything you want to try and keep your distance while um yeah trying to still aim him because he, he would just kill you in one shot good job guys Let's fast forward a bit. Take a sip of water. Right. Again, just like the first round, you want to put your orb on someone. I mean, tracers, the orb might come back if you put it on tracer immediately, but you know, put it on tracer straight away or Winston straight away. So here, if tracer has it, she can just poke and just obviously not be as scared or Winston. So to make sure you always have your orb on someone. Ah, oh, man, that feels good. Rolox is caught So just there, if you, you might have seen that. Right, so obviously this Reaper is trying to do a bit of a flank thing. Obviously you, you might have not seen it, but you always want to be wary. And if you do see things like this, you just want to make sure your teammates know. So. If Reaper's trying to flank like that, go around. He's on top, trying to flank. Make sure you mention it. Help. Uh, nice one. That'll reset this Discord to get her. No, um, sorry. Shit, I'm down. Uh. See, yeah, I mean, the issue there is, you know, you're sort of trying to dance around this block here. You know, you're wasting a lot of time just trying to move in and out when they've got a big shield. The best thing you can do is stay behind your tanks. Do it, take it back a little bit. So basically, yeah, you want to stay behind your tanks, spamming them here, obviously calling out the Reaper. Unfortunately, you, you can't get much done here in this situation and then you can just be targeted quite easy as your teammates can't you know your teammates are here they can't actually see you mercy can't really see you zarya can't really bubble you and then obviously you've got the ability to be, to be hooked by roadhog and taken down quite easy Help. and during this whole time that you're dancing around this big pillar here it's obviously a waste of time where you could just be spamming uh nice one That'll reset this discord to get her. 
No, um, sorry. Shit, I'm down. Uh, I'm down. Get that Roadhog. Roadhog slow. Just to let you know as well, so if you right click, you do a big right click and then you discord, those orbs don't, uh, the discord doesn't count with those right clicks. So basically you just want to make sure you discord first and then just keep spamming. Again, you only want to use your right click when you're sort of peeking around corners, trying to get some uh, big damage there when they can't really see it. If, if you're just in the middle of the fight from a distance, you just keep spamming. Put pressure destroyed. on there. So at this point, you know, Roadhog could basically kill you very, very quickly. He is very low, but you'd never want to just be right up front. Good job. Again, keep your distance. Above, Senyata. He's discorded. Good job. So at this point, positioning. So with Zen, you definitely want to, you know, soldier, Zen, Mercy, and all that. You want to be on top. You want to go on top there. Let's see if you do that. Oh. I only got lost. I haven't lost a game in like 10 games. I thought you were doing I've that. I've been on such a good roll recently. Feels good, man. Feels good. This is bad. You are right up front when your whole team is behind just holding sort of the point. You know, generally it could be a good idea to just quickly uh, be at the choke, you know, while Soldier still stays up there or the Zen as well. And then you fall back when you need to. As Zen, as Zen, you definitely don't want to be here. Tracer. They were coming through the Especially with the Roadhog, they can just quickly right. hook you in. Uh, Orisa's... No, Roadhog's discorded. So at this point, obviously, your Tracer's dead on the right-hand side. Obviously, your teammates are there. So you just basically want to rotate and just get into the other side on your side. Spam. Uh... I'm trying to get their um, shield. So you're ah, trying to get the shield, you just basically just want to keep spamming it, and especially from, like, you can hit it at any angle, as long as you can see it. You, you don't want to be right up at the front. Zarya, please. I need healing. Someone, please. See, so yeah, and now because, obviously, you were trying to focus on them, and you weren't backing up, you couldn't help your teammates that were just getting slaughtered. Shit, I'm Looks sorry, like Both of you, bad aim there. Roadhog's discorded. He's low. Their Roadhog is discorded. Ah, oh, man. We might want to fall back. So, yeah, at this point, yeah, basically, you basically lost the fight. Unless you can stall it out, you know, trace him, go on point, stall it out. You might as well just give up the point and just back right up. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Man, this is like. It's, it's pretty back and forth. It's pretty even so far, but we're going pretty well. All right, give me a second, guys. I'll try to take down that shield. Give me a second. Oh, that uh, rape. So that was a very bad idea. I mean, luckily you got the bubble from Zarya there, but you saw the Reaper going behind there, so you definitely don't want to be in close quarters with Reaper. You know, if, if anything, you go, you know, go, go on this other pillar get a distance between and try and fire in. You never want to be... Because that, that's the main thing with Reaper. He's going to try and hide around the corner and just wait and get in close contact. Reaper's ice. I've discorded him now. So again, that's, that's when you want to build up a right right click is when Reaper is in Wraith form. You can just build up a whole right click while he's in Wraith form and hopefully get as much damage as you can when he comes out. He's down. Reaper's down. My ultimate, my transcendence is almost ready. Shit, don't worry, don't worry. I got a, I got an ultimate to use really soon. You know what? Going in now. Go, 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 go. You guys got ultimates to use? No? So unfortunately, everyone looks like they're spread out. I mean, might not have been a good idea to use Zen out there. You probably want it only, uh, probably only want to use it with Reaper, Roadhog, or yeah, some other ults that are, or like Soldier ult. Uh, you never never want to use it too much to initiate fights, especially if they've got a load of bolts up. Watch out. Can I have a res? I mean, a, a heal? So this is where, you know, again, it seems like you're doing it the opposite way. So this is a good idea to have right clicks charged up as you duck around corners and people are chasing you. Because at this point, and you never want to look back again. You, you always want to keep looking so you can keep spamming or trying to do damage or kill them. 
So the Reaper was was oh, actually fuck. pretty low. You might have been able to kill him just while he's because he went into Wraithborn just as he was chasing you. So the Reaper could have built up a built up a right charge and killed push, him. Though, so uh, they pushed up real real too far. Group up again. I probably should have waited for some more ults. Sorry, guys. We still got time. We need some like magic here. So at this point, obviously everyone's just taken. I mean, everyone was grouped up. You should have just went and went in immediately, and then you may have got another fight later on. But now that you've basically wasted until the last moment, this is going to be the last fight. That reaper's going after me. He's coming to the right. Oh shit! Mercy. Again, you always got to be careful with the reaper because he's done it many times where he's just hiding around, around in the corner. So please, got to be careful. Thank you. Ah oh, fuck. Fuck! Get on there. Oh my god. They built their ults so well, damn it. Looks like a lost round for this one. No point. If you guys want, if somebody else wants to go healer, I can go Reaper and try and counter some of their tanks. Ah, skip forward. What do you wanna... Somebody wanna go uh, healer? Besides me. All right, we need we need someone else to go tank. I can go Winston, but I think we need the Reaper. Uh, so we just go, we could keep touching that. So I mean, with the team comp, you know, it's, this could be fine, especially in low lower elos. You know, I noticed that a lot of people think. 2-2-2 two, two, two is the way to go. I mean, there's been plenty of fights where it's only been one healer, even like a Lucio or Zen, and it's just the coordination. So I wouldn't even worry about uh, trying to always have 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You always just want to, yeah, sort of counter, counter pick, whatever, to what, whatever the enemy team has. I think I'll Winston, but I think we need the Reaper. I think having the Reaper would be good. With Reaper, Lucio is always a good idea. And it looks like it's a bit of a dive team, so I mean this could work absolutely fine. Oh, let's, uh, uh, Reiner or Winston? Winston, yeah. All right, I'll try and counter some of their. Again, teams. at this elo, it doesn't really matter too much about comp, to be honest. Oh, Play position. This, this, this point. That's all right. We'll see how we go. So it looks like your whole team is basically splitting up. Which isn't a good idea. You know, you've essentially got a bit of a dive team. So Winston, Diva, you want to basically call out one target and then you all jump on that target. So if you want to get these tanks here. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. I'm sorry. So it uh, looks like you're going for the tank there. You know, priorities is probably DPS, healer, and then tanks. Or healers, DPS, tank. Usually, it's, usually you're trying to get the DPS first or the healers. Because, you know, Eris is going to be kept up by Ana. She's got massive burst damage, so you want to go make sure you get the Ana first. I just thrust straight in there without looking around. I'm coming as fast as I can. That Mercy's being annoying. So here, I mean, this is a major issue, and the, so the other enemy soldier's doing, like, massive work. So he's on the top ground just firing down at you and just getting a lot of work done. You know, basically you don't want that to happen. You want to make sure if that happens, you want to contest the top ground. And he's his way. Diva and Winston just jump on the soldier and kill him straight away. Shit. Oh my god, that fucking road dog was almost dead. So this situation, a lot of you people are dead. It's only you and Anna against, yeah, 
what's it, two tanks, soldier on top, and then he's, their own armor behind. He's down, behind. he's down, he's down, Rodok's down. I got Lucio as well. Okay, so here you, you, you seem to be focusing the tanks. Like I said, your priorities, DPS or healer. And as you're just walking in just there, Reaper was just to your right there. You know, he's just gonna take you down quickly, as quick as you can take anyone else down. So you wanna make sure you turn and try and get for the and go for the Reaper. Ah This is so annoying. See the best thing there, I mean the best thing about Winston is he can counter Arna's healing. You know, the shield stops any healing that happens with Arna, so he can jump on Arna. You can jump on uh, Arissa and Ryan, uh, Reaper and all that. But unfortunately, it's just not coordinated. Man, they have put up a good fight. Still no one's taking the point. I think Soldier's still up on the top there. He's got all, you got all. All right, should we keep trying to contest? Or is it just useless? I mean, uh, you got maybe. five here, so you can easily contest. So here, you hear people, someone on a jump pad there. I don't know if it's your guy oh, or... Oh, shit. Maybe not for now. So again, soldiers on the top there just firing down on all of you. The shit. What you want to do is have the Diva and Winston jump on him, even if it just pushes him off. Or it hopefully kills him. me! Nah, they're fucking... Dead. Fall back. They've used a couple old so, so And just a tiny thing there. Again, you just seem to be always trying to look the way you're walking, or you never look back. You know, always want to. You, know, you get used to it walking back and looking at all the you can kind of count going uh, enemy team still. How do they just pick up so much momentum? So they have a lot of. Uh, and basically, Anna's going to keep the tanks up. Redog's got his healing. Obviously, uh, Reaper can obviously wraith form and just get healed. So unless you basically full on dive them, which you have, you know, get the Arna, get a Reaper and all that, or dive the soldier, take out one of the main DPSs doing the, uh, the main thing. All right, let's try. Then you're not going to get anywhere. Again, what other? My, my also eighty seven percent. With the Reaper, Reaper's amazing against, but you want to speed in, speed in, uh, and just kill everything. So what you want to do is coordinate with your Diva, coordinate with Winston. Yeah. Put speed on, right. on and yeah, dive him. I'll actually use a jump pad. I'll try and build the ult and use jump pad. He's hard. No. Shit. There. Oh, fuck. So you still had basically quite a bit of health there. In Soldier was actually quite weak. You could have got him. I know he's on his healing pad, but if you got one good shot in, he would have died there. And again, you had Arna just there just healing you. The ult. So you're going all the way back around when your whole enemy team or your whole team is in the fight. All right, I'm at 99, so I'm going to go around this way and try and get him. Okay. Oh my god, I missed it. Okay, so not the best ult in the world. I know what you're trying to do, get the mercy there. But unfortunately, unless she's quite close, she can probably, she can easily just fly away. And obviously she has got a healing thing on there, so unfortunately nothing gets done there. And again, you went all the way around, went on the top when your whole team was fighting, brawling with the enemy team. You should have just went in there, done a few clips, you would have got your ult and hopefully used it at I a good time. You would have out damage mercy Dodge healing. My attack. So that's good. I mean you're ducking in and out and obviously just trying to get close to them, but here's you notice, know, you know, you're still trying to go for the tanks and you see this mercy being like just here. And obviously Arna's probably gonna be around there as well. Obviously you can out damage the healing they can input. But basically, you know, tanks, especially sort of Orisa and all that, is kind of secondary. You know, make sure you get the healers. That Mercy is being the biggest bitch. Roadhog's down. Oh, shit. I'm lights out. I'm lights out. Ah, uh, fuck 
me. Get them, they're all clumped up, man. Oh my god! Wow, that was a uh, big ult. What the shit? What else we got to work with? Hey, wait for me, wait for me. We're Unfortunately, that stuff happens. Diva, get on there. Diva, get on there. This doesn't make any fucking sense. So again, you know, you saw the Roadhog walking behind. You know, a quick shout out to your teammates to say, Roadhog is behind us. You know, look out. Good save, lucky. I got this, I got this, I got this. Give me one second, and... So you're trying to chase the Reaper right here, but you can hear Rokog, who's just behind you, and you'll be counts to him. So, it's, yeah, it's prioritizing who you can kill. Wow. Looks like, what a clutch. Wow, we gotta hold this now. It's gonna be extreme. Thanks to the Nano Boost, that was really helpful. So again, with the position, with the Reaper, like you've seen with the other Reaper on the enemy team, you wanna be hugging a wall right where the enemy is gonna come okay. through. You, like being out in the open just here it's just not going to work especially really, with really soldier and like that have your ult set ready that can just shoot you down from a distance going through the right mercy and soldier so again you you know you basically want position so you want to make sure you know you got who's on your team up the top is it Sora? when did you do up a top. Going through the middle now, we get the Mercy and the Orisa. Alright, so, I mean, you got a Reaper with you. You know, you don't want them to get set up, like, in this position. So, basically, you want to hold, sort of, the choke here and here. You know, make, sure, make them come through, and then Reaper destroys them. You know, and then you got Diva to help you with Defense Matrix. you got Winston Bubble to stop Anna from healing. You know, so, basically, you just dive on them once they come through and destroy them. You never want to be holding a distance like that watch out reaper's teleporting on point still oh, perfect so teleporting on point above you so perfect so these these guys are all clumped up here you want to basically be sneaking all the way around the back if you can and then getting behind them attacking the healer they're all going through center so let's see if you do that So you can't. Ah, fuck. So you can't do that. Arisa got me. It's not too bad. Me but I mean, you got to understand with you got to understand with the Reaper. You know, he's got two fifty HP. He can take quite a bit of damage before he gets into trouble. So you know, the idea with Reaper, get right in there, try and pick out one target, like a healer, like a DPS or something, and then obviously wraith form when you need help. So Anna can heal you, or someone can heal you, just as you come around the corner, because you could just dive right in there just try and do a load of damage to try and kill someone and then you can just easily make your way out and just wreck form out and diva can defense matrix you or whatever or have other people help you just be ready to use those alts if you can ah uh, shit you might want to use your ult nice just get the um She's gonna resin both because she's got the thing. Get get the um mercy. Told you so. So who have you got? I'm pretty sure Lucio still hasn't beat. So I'm not sure why he's holding on there. When you've already lost a couple of people, you want to beat and engage into them. Give me a sec, guys. Ah. So low health, bad position. You you basically just want to get out of there. Just retreat a little bit back. There we might go. Otherwise your, that happens. Might want to use your ult now, man. I'm pretty sure might he has speak your... still. So he's been holding on to that for ages, so obviously that's just not good. And Diva, you only want to sort of, they only, you only want to use that if uh, you come out of your suit at the end. You might want to use your ult now, man, Genji. Oh, nah, bad sure. timing by Lucio. Fuck. So sometimes with Lucio, it's to he either. Clumped up enough. Oh shit. Obviously, counter like a Genji or, or something like that, or to engage. Oh, you know, you engage. You got a load of health, so the idea is to beat, 
engage, take out, take them out, and then you win the fight. It's not always reactive to some of the bots like that possible. they use. I got this. Oh, I'm on their voice. Ah. Alrighty. My god, what a counter. That was me as well, holy shit. Alright, they got one last push in them. We gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. They've used some of their ults. How have we got for our ults? So, yeah, uh, we haven't actually touched on this. So, one of the main things is seeing what the enemy team has in ults. So, what they've used, what they possibly have, what you've got to counter it, and the position of, positioning of it as well. So... Depending on what they got, if they've got like road or cult, oh, you don't want to be in like a small area where you can push you against it. If they've got like Zarya, you know, you obviously you just want to play split up if you think they've got that. Um, yeah, if they've got like Mercy or you just was, maybe right. want to maybe want to focus Mercy. Just keep them off as long as we can, boys. So again, with Reaper, make sure you are in a. You can go in a small room. You can go just behind the wall here, and as they come through, you just. Take them down. Because you're not going to do much damage from sort of this distance. I'll race this down. Oh, oh shit. Alright, get them. Get the mercy. Oh my god. Get the. Get the Reaper. Did we get it? Oh my god. Holy shit! Clutch! I went in there at the last second as a bar is just about to go down and we hold it. Holy crap. So, not bad there. A few pointers with uh, Reaper and Zen. So, let's just move on to the next game. I guess I've been making beat my career high. I'm grinding. My best feel about the Widow. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what have we got so far? Widow. How do we feel about the widow? See, you never want to. You, ne you never want to say that. Like, this widow could be the most insane widow. You know, taking out shots. You know, usually you want to trust. You know, their picks, their best heroes that they can play. Uh, if it doesn't work, hopefully they will switch. Generally, you don't want to sort of be toxic and try and take them off widow straight away when they can do extremely well. So just a little, little pointer. Uh, what have we got so far? Widow. How do we feel about the Widow? I'm okay with it. As long as I can switch with the new shit. Well, we need another tank. I might wow. as well So again, uh, you know, it's just a f sort of fine comp, you know. It, it, to, again, it doesn't really matter with this elo. You know, you've got Widow, you've got Reaper, you got just one tank. you got two healers, which is awesome. So, you know, you don't have to go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You know, you just, yeah, it's just, yeah, this year, like I said, it's all about, I know, coordination, aiming, there's a lot more things, so you can just win with all DPS, all tanks, whatever. I've got a Reaper, my, my best hero is Reaper, but I'm happy to stick to Winston for now. It's okay, as long as my heroes are strong enough. Yep. So again, yeah, you want to play your best heroes mainly yeah, just, until right. you get to a much higher SR where Tin Comp is probably a lot more viable. Then you could, the best idea is to stick with your so on the line here. best heroes. If I win one more game, so I want to beat my career high. I fell all the way down to freaking. Um... Thank you so much for the so. Congratulations, you are my 300th follower. So Winston, you want to be right up there, ready to jump in there, try and isolate someone off, or, you know, just create a ruckus. You never want to be sort of like a DPS trying to go Ooh, from a distance. I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much. I mean, bad on your Ryan there. I mean, uh, not really. I mean, you never want to hold up your shield to just spam when you're not ready to jump in. You know, go around the corner, go around the bus, and then put your shield up, and then push right in there. You know, Winston, jump in. Ryan, push right ahead. You take, take the risk out quite easy. Alright, anyway. Okay, I know that obviously you said that you don't really play Winston too often, but you never just want to put your shield out of the choke there. 
Especially, especially with all the spam, it's just going to be destroyed and just absolutely useless. You mainly want to jump, put your shield down if it's necessary, or wait for a moment, put your shield down, and then try and take someone out. Or, like I said, they focus you, you jump back, and then that gives you gives your DPS a lot of space to do some work. Especially, you know, the Widow, you know, you're trying to not hopefully wait for a pick, you just try and create the space for them, push people out of the way, and things like that. Thank you so much. Uh, I got the Symmetra. Oh shit. I'm out of here. Okay, we gotta get that, um, when, sorry, the, um, the shit? Got it, wait one second. So, a little tip there, obviously, I can't really see what your reload is, but there I noticed that you reload, like, immediately. So, you, you always want to make sure if you can do damage or only reload, or only reload when you're basically zero if you necessary. You never want to reload immediately, like after killing someone or like that. You take out some sim turrets, but then you just went around here, took out the other ones. I got you. And then may maybe reload. Ah, oh, Reaper got me. He's behind me. So that's unfortunate. I mean, Winston isn't too great in a small area where people can get in, especially Diva. Diva's a good sort of counter. And of course, Reaper hiding in a small room. Yeah, let me just go through the middle. I mean, with this comp, you've got a, basically you, you need the big area, big open space. You've got McCree, you've got Zen, you've got obviously Reinhardt, uh, and then you've got Widow. So going in like this small confined area where they've got a lot of useful heroes. Oh yeah, yeah you know, point's that. pretty good so far. I'm coming as fast. Oh shit! I'm coming as fast as I can. So there's. Alright, so, I mean, bad thing there, I mean, basically, you, you're all dead, and you, you've just jumped in as a big 500 HP hero, where they can get some nice, juicy old charge off you. So, I hope you probably put down your shield immediately, or put down your shield, and jump straight back out. Ah, shit. Ah! I'm getting fucking pummeled. Give me a second. Alright, so you just jump right into a Reaper without any of your help from your team. I mean, I said at this point, Winston's probably not the best pick. Reaper will probably just be a lot better, especially that you play there them a lot more. Ah, oh, shit. When Reaper got me. You know, Oops. stay behind Ryan's shield, push right Sorry, up, man. and then take out the targets that you need. We have three tanks? Alright, just... Alright, no worries. When I, when I use my ult, I'll switch to next tank. Cause I got sixty five on my ult. All right. So I mean, the thing there, Winston's ult isn't great. It's basically a massive ult charge, ult battery for the other for the enemy team. It's basically unless you're doing great on Winston and you want to stay alive, you know, and boot people about. There's absolutely no point trying to save it and then use it for later on. Because like I said, you, they got Reaper, they got Diva, they got Orisa, people that can obviously just do a lot of damage to you quickly. And then they're just gonna build their ults very, very quickly. So Winds is not working, which looks like it isn't. Twist to Reaper, there's no point using your ult. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is sometimes even if you have an ult, like, I don't know, like Reaper or something like that, if they've just got a massive counter to it, it's it's very hard, but basically it just might be better to just forget about the ult and just change hero. Okay. Alright, so, you, I mean, it's not great there where you're just basically walking straight up front, taking a lot of damage. And then again, you drop your shield right at the choke when you've got obviously a big Ryan shield there. Oh shit, no. Nice counter. Ah, oh, Reaper's after me again! That Reaper is just... And I'm a Reaper main as well, I should know better. Get on the point, Ryan. Shit. Leave her, hey, leave her, leave her! Scan, let's like, you know... 
prioritizing who you need to attack. So again, you want to jump on the healer. You want to jump on the Ana that was just over here. You know, keeping keeping Arissa up. You know, leave her. Hey, leave her. Leave her. Ana like just over here. You know, you are not going to kill Arissa if Ana's healing. You want to make sure jump on the hit Ana, uh, bubble her. So she can't basically heal anyone. She can't heal Arissa. Then your team can take out Arissa very, very quickly. So again, I can't really see uh, your reload, obviously, because you're kind of covering up. But basically, you had all enemies in front of you. If you still had charge left or, you know, uh, ammo left, you know, you just want to use it all up, get the most DPS damage output. Oh, that, how did that fucking... Oh my goodness, give me... It's a lot of damage there. You're going to be shredded down very, very quickly as Winston. And as Winston, you basically want to use your ult when you've just got minimal health health left. So you just boost it right back up. I'm going to soldier. Let me take him some out from a distance. We can't even get the first tick. So perfect, yeah. So soldier is actually very good into this. Like McCree, Widow, because they've just got all close tanks. They've got... Uh, what have they got? They've got McCree... But mainly uh, Sim or Symmetra and Reaper, who's obviously only good sort of close up. Their Ryan's down. They, I mean, so this should do a lot Ryan. better. Remember, they, they don't have a. Um... Go, 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 go. So it looks like you're trying to go for the sim here. I mean, her thing is to get close and then beam you down, which can be quite easy, especially if you're not too great at aiming. And she's not doing much there. She's just sort of spamming ores, which you can dodge quite easy. Basically, you just want to keep on, keep on this, spam the shield or trying to get someone that's not covered up by the shield. And then if she comes out, then you shoot her. But you, you can stay a distance as a soldier and then just fire, fire down on her. Like, you have a diva there who was very, very low, which you can be shooting at, and got her out of a mech. Let's get that Symmetra. So it's all about target prioritization, you know. This sim wasn't doing much, you know, you just want to get the diva that was in your back line. She's dead. And aim at the other people, unless sim is on you. Yeah, it's no Get point that. Now. So again, it looks like you're going for the tank is just right in front of you when you've got Anna just over to the right here healing her up ah he's down ah right, good job this does not look good that's pretty lucky go 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 good job guys just try and keep ah. him off oh shit Symmetra She's down. So there's a couple of things you can do with Sim and Reaper is literally, you're a soldier, you can run, you know, grab a health pack on your way, run, get a big distance, and then start firing down on them. They can't do anything about it. So whenever you come across that situation and you can run out of there before they kill you, you just might as well do that, get your distance, and then fire down on them. I got my attack visor ready. Give me one second, give me one second. But this is a lot better, you know, you're dancing around this area, so they can't really hit you too well, you know, while you reload. Exactly what right, you need to job. do. Ah. So again, I noticed that you reload. I'm not too sure if you still had ammo left, but if you did, you know, there was no point in reloading. You could have just kept shooting until you ran out of your clip and then just automatically reload. Good job. So at this point, you know, you can push forward, you know, you've staggered some of their kills and then some of them might be foolish enough to stop, start pushing up. My this way you can ready. just, this way you can sort of run forward and see if you can get any late staggers. So I'll just, I'll just save it for whenever. You know, you, you basically only need one or three. I mean, I think, don't think there's much of a dif difference between one and two, but if you've got one person on the payload or three, 
and then the rest of you sort of push up and create more space because otherwise they can just take a very early fight and get a lot more fights within the street yeah not yet we'll just wait till we're, we got a good position so get rid of that zarya and demit the diva and we should be good to use it so i mean with your ult the main issue is diva you know zarya's not going to do much you only got 200 hp bubble so you can just burst through that quite easy especially if you're uh, an ulted so you know once you've got the diva down mech you can do that diva c mechs uh go 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 the shit so i'm pretty sure you could have ran in that little room and killed them because it looks like widow's on top yeah there she is she's on top there got got him nice job i mean oh she's on my Generally, that's what you probably want to do is not shoot the Zarya bubble. But basically, if that's the if she she's the only one alive, just burst through it and kill her quickly, or even more quickly. Unless you want to keep her alive a bit longer and stagger her more. But you know, generally, I think that's one thing people would do. They shoot her when she's full health with bubble, but they don't shoot her when she's sort of low health or you just need to burst through the bubble. You got her. Good job. Man, I'm on fire. I'm not usually good at soldier. Usually, I'm not. I usually play Reaper, guys. Ryan's almost down. So again, there's only two of you there. All of you can just push right up and quickly kill them. Obviously, you've got to watch out for the Widow above on the left. But as a soldier, you can probably just quickly, uh, you can just quickly like run up here and then just fire down at the Mercy right there. Because as I said, there's only two of them. You can just Get that mercy. quickly take them out. Probably not much need of a oh, slam. Oh shit. Get that Reaper. He's just on the point. He's gone Reaper. Put that put that puppy to sleep. Thank you. Should be able to wrap the point and give us plenty of time to defend. Oh wait, no. Nah. Oh shit. Oh. Wow, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean... I just stood at the wrong place. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no. Nah. Oh shit. Oh wait, no. Nah. Okay, I mean, unless you have very fast reaction times, I mean, yeah, I think we've all fallen to a Reinhardt charge out of nowhere. I mean, obviously with Soldier, you could have possibly just jumped up here or just quickly moved to the right. Oh, shit. Uh, kind of looked like you moved a bit to the left there, but you didn't realise it in time. Wow, okay. It's always funny. Sorry, guys. Reaper up top, watch out. Perfect. Behind? So soldier, I mean, yeah, you can see a Reaper behind you. Basically, you can just be up on the... Oh, where are we going to go? So you can be on the little ledge here, just keeping an eye out on Aussie Reaper that may be coming from down here, or people up there, or even just here, but obviously continuously raining down fire on the people just in front. Rabbi... Behind? Behind? So you can see the Reaper just on the left there, just behind your team. Ah! Oh! Rosie's down. Rosie's down. No back hill, but as you see, just as you, down. as you walk back, Reaper yeah. is just there. So you just want to make sure you indicate that to your team that Reaper's still behind. Good job. Oh shit, I'm hammered down. Oh no. Oh, no. Shit. Alright, keep pushing. Yeah, regroup. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, that Reaper always seems to oh, like going on top, top ground behind people, so you might want to if he self stay right much further back, or you McCree to make sure he doesn't take anyone out. Because McCree can easily flashbang and Percent. kill him. I mean, you, you saw that there. I mean, the the reaper right there. Oh, 
a little bit of time, but he got there in the end. Essentially, if you just focused him down as he's just coming out of that port, teleport, you could have killed him. Reaper's up there. Reaper's behind you, guys. Oh, he's almost dead. He's one tick. Got him. Oh, fucking All right. me. I mean, what? that's unfortunate. I mean, you, you saw the Widow shots coming up there. You are very focused on the Reaper. You could have got him from a distance while trying to duck. Just, you know... Stay hidden behind the Ryan shield as soon as he comes out of Wraith Form because he's not, he can't get anywhere in time. You just shoot him down. And unfortunately, this Widow seems to be doing quite, that shit? A, quite a bit of work. Widow is just killing us. And at this point, you might as well tell your teammates to just back right off because there's no point. No point contesting. So do I. Z back the diva and we'll go, okay? And get that Ryan shield down. Wait, wait for that Moira. Wait for the Moira. And my ultimate's almost straight. So this is what I mean. So you want to be dancing around here, just doing a lot of damage, ducking back when you need a reload or unsafe. Z make the diva first. So you always want to keep an eye on you basically you want to be behind the Ryan shield the Ryan shield needs to probably be back or everyone else much forward with him and she seems to be doing a lot of work so you want to make sure you keep a lot of pressure on the widow barriers down let's go McCree took care of her oh fuck go who's behind us all right, give give him some shit at the entrance. See, so yeah, perfect. I mean, generally, yeah, you might want to get push people at, a, at the entrance to make it really hard for them to get out. Give you space to just fire around down on. Oh, shout out! Fire down, down on them. What else we got? Shit. Yeah, I can't really do much here. I'm trying to stay on the point while I can. No. That said, it's pretty good to it's try right. and stay on the point right there, but pretty much a loss round. Um, yeah, no, I don't know how I feel about... Ugh. Okay, I, I know what you're going to say. The Hanzo. I don't know, I feel like Soldier is working alright. I mean, I mean, again, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, now he can be a very good defense, defensive person, Hanzo, and this person might be awesome at Hanzo. You never know. Obviously, unless they're a really skilled hero at the tier, at the elo that they're at, then, yeah, it's not always great, but, you know, give them, you can just give them the benefit of the doubt and just hopefully they do some work and hopefully they switch if they don't. Yeah. It looks like you're trying to run... Two tanks. You main DPS. All right. I don't know how I feel. I don't know. Should I go? Should I go soldier or should I go? I don't know if I should go soldier or reaper. All right. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Good idea to do that. Let's try and defend the point best we can. So again, it doesn't really matter about comp. Seems like a pretty so good comp. Again. I've got. No, not me. Oh, it's me. Is that you being, like, stuck up? Like, yep. hard ass. Alright. So, again, you're positioning, you know, you got a big Ryan Hart, you got a Diva uh, holding the choke here. So, basically, you want to be. Do the best we can. You want to be tucked up at the choke right there. If... Like, this big open area is the worst. You know, you'd be shot down by anyone with long distance, to be honest. So, you want to make sure you're hiding around here. If Hanzo doesn't work. Yeah, so you want to make sure you're hiding around here, hiding around choke just here and here. Even if you sort of start up on the roof here, jump down, try and take take him out, and then just ray form behind the choke. Pretty easy. You never want to be out in the open like you are. Just sort of easy to be oh, shot yeah, down. Oh yeah, maybe it's good for me to go soldier then. Oh shit. I can't really do much to Faraz. 
Watch out behind us is a Winston coming. So obviously you're trying to chase down a Winston, but if you hear you hear them actually coming back out to the right, so I bet if you turn back around it's gonna be right there. Oh shit, we're oh, already down a Merc. There he is. Winston's almost down. So at this point, obviously you're down to Mercy, you might want to just sort of slightly back up because Reaper's awesome against if they try and push in, like you can come come behind them. You can come behind them just here if they're just pushing around the corner. You know Reaper's pretty good at taking them out, and then it's harder for Farah to fire rockets. You know, come into this little area here, so you kind of have the advantage there. Ah! Oh no, that fucking Winston. Might have been a slight. Uh, paint like you probably had a smidgen of time to go into wraith form if you had it. I'm pretty sure you did, because it seemed like a bit of a delay on his end to give you to shoot you. Not Winston, McCree got me. Again, yeah, they got a McCree. Very good counter, a good counter to you. So you just want to make sure that you know if he flashes up or yeah where he is. Oh, nice one. Shit. Uh, we can't right, really so do much here. We got we got to fall back. Yeah, they pretty much won the point, so I don't expect you to go in there. I mean, they're all very very staggered, so by the time they even come to contest, it's pretty much over. The best thing you can do is just get all your spawns. You should be able to get all your spawns before they actually get the point, and then you can take an early fight in the streets right here. Should I try and you can contest a point even? I'm not even gonna bother contesting the point. So it looks like most people here, I don't know if they've backed up, but you wanna tell them to push right forward. So if you can hold that choke just there, otherwise you wanna hold hold the corner. Right, they're pushing up, so yeah, just fall back a little. Now with the Reaper, again, like the other Reaper was doing, you might wanna go, you might wanna go TP up here and then drop down from them on the healers or something like that. And then you can just wraith form and get back. You know, that's what he's best at. I might go soldier just to get rid of this fucking Farah. I mean, if you're looking at team comp, obviously Reaper's probably not the great. They've got Genji, they've got McCree, they've got Farah. Lots of people to sort of shut you down quite easy. And it looks like you're not engaging, so I don't know what this Reinhardt's doing, just holding his shield up, getting spam. You know, basically, you want a full charge shield, push right up, and then take the fight to him. You know, you just don't want spam to happen, your shield's broken, and then they can just engage, and then you have no shield. So you're broken. You know, the team comp you kind of have is like a brawling one, so you just want to make sure you get in there and brawl and take him out. I couldn't get anyone, damn it. Watch out, that Genji's almost dead. So, you're in a bad position here, you know, you, you lost quite a few people, you want to back right up, go around the corner, wait for your spawns to kind of get there, and then take another team fight, and then just push right in. They're pushing hard. So it's obviously Sarah. I mean, just if Sarah gives you a bubble, you can just go a bit ham, just get right in there, and then just get out of there. Obviously, you got an extra 200 HP bubble that They're can help hard. you out. And you definitely want to try and get her charged, so you just want to get in there and make sure they damage you. Fuck. So again, basically, at this point, they're just pushing really hard because they've got the numbers. They're using ults. You just want to basically get out of there as fast as you can. Ah, oh, that frying's almost down. Shit. I'm almost at my ult though. I can... Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. This is bad. I'm still gonna try and contest it and use my ultimate. I hope you don't. And I hope you don't. Because they've just died. Your teammates just died. And one's still not respawned. And they've got like a full six. 
and along with what is it Diva or they got Reinhardt, Genji, McCree, all all people that can shut down your ultimate really really easy. So I just hope you don't. Yeah, and a Diva as well, so she can eat it. Genji can reflect. McCree can just flashbang you and stop you from ulting completely. And Reinhardt's got a big two thousand HP shield, which is should pretty much last for the whole ult. Don't do it. Alright, that's a bad idea. At least you know. You, basically, you want your te your team to be engaging in them and having their attention, and then you drop in an ult. But even if that's the case, you know, they've got a lot of things to stop you, you know. Yeah, they've, they've been able to push really quickly, so we need to, like, hold this last point. Shit, mate. So, as you see, you've got a fire just above there. Probably going to ult, possibly. You want to make sure you take down the fire. I know people want to grab, but you've got a massive 2000 shield that's not going to do much. Let Ryan swing, swing into it. So, fire's still above you, just firing down. Oh, my goodness. Ryan's down. Oh shit. Can I get a rest, please, Mercy? That's like Mercy's just trying Mercy, to take her out. See, so, so far it's done a lot of work. They still managed to take you out and Ryan out and yeah. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's see how we go. We gotta hold this for four minutes. So you wanna make sure you put a lot of pressure on Fire. You know, she doesn't doesn't seem to have the mercy with her, especially when the grab happened. Pretty sure they had mercy in there or something. So you could have taken out fire quite easy. Fire Sam. Ah, oh, fuck, he's almost down. Fuck. Ah, uh, I'm on like there, I'm on there. Much done there. Fuck, get on there, get on there, get on there. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, fuck. That's unfortunate. Their ults were too good. I mean, there was just that one guy who was just, like, not switching for Manzo. Or way over to Widow. Unfortunately, yeah, I mean, they did do pretty good on Widow on the first round. Not that was a team comp uh, at the fuck, end. Fuck, get on there, get on there. They're I didn't really see too much of Hanzo. It wasn't too great, of course. And it's being pretty contested with uh, Genji, Farah, and Diva, so probably not the best choice there, I'd say. Too good. I mean, there was just that one guy who... It's not always about DPS, you know, it's about coordination. You know, you take out take out the healer, take out a uh, DPS that's doing a lot of work, and then you just steamroll it from there. It's not so much about don't have enough DPS or healing or anything like that. Coordination. It was just like... Aiming, you know, can be a lot more. Not switching from Anzo. That means... Right, let's just skip forward. It's a um, hybrid between an otter and a weasel. That's Daxter. Alright. And we can take this point just okay. fine. Oh, him. Let's just. So, Tim can work on. Yep, Tim can work on here, definitely. Uh, Fire is very good on here. And then you've got obviously Ryan and Zara and Reaper. So obviously what you want to do, this comp is basically hold the bloody choke comp, you know, while fires from a distance. Uh, Sim can also just hold up at the choke as well, or just even put turrets to indicate where people come through as they destroy them. Well, and we can take this. So where you want to be basically with this comp is at the top right there where the, you know, where the stairs are up here. You know, Ryan holds there, Zara gets charged, you know, try and keep it in the small clump room, try and get them through there. And then just drop down when you need to. You know, drop down in the center, drop down uh, to the point when you need to. Oh. Let's go to that. Point just fine, and I am dying to get back up to my. Mm -mm. Stop making me hungry. 
So this is really bad. Like, you know, if they just had like a comp that's gonna fire from a distance, you know, you just got people that's more of a brawler, you know, much closer, brawling sort of comp, you know, they can just come in, spend their time just pushing all the way up and then fight you here and just spam from a distance, especially if they get the high ground there or there, then it's gonna be a lot harder for, especially Zara and Brian Hart. And especially for you as well, basically, you're just in a big open area, ready, ready to be shut down. So this is better. They got D.Va and Rodol coming through the top right. So now, push through. Ryan shield up, push through. Hopefully that happens. You know, don't be scared. You know, Roadhog, essentially, unless he's get boosted or someone else shoots you, he, if he hooks you, he's not going to kill you. He just wraith form straight out, get behind a Ryan shield, and get healed. So this is perfect. Reaper, you just want to get in there. You know, push right in there. M Tell you Ryan had to push right up there and just Mercy. fire down. Especially with Zarya, and she can bubble you or run and just get in there, get charged, and just keep going in there. The shit? What the shit? You know, and with your healers, basically you want them some distance, maybe on this side or right behind you. So let's just do this. So you want them on sort of like this, this part of here, or just a bit more to the left or behind you, just above here. And uh, not sort of on the floor where the on the ground here on the point where they pop the angle isn't too great great and they can't really see you and heal you properly though especially Anna. all right oh shit that diva's after me that diva's after me i need healing i was pretty lucky she didn't go after you because she could have just fired you finished you off just there i need healing is the only healing we have an Anna? that's not good yeah Anna like could be great especially in this situation where they're pushing all up there she was she can just burst heal all of you together with a grenade and then you just go in there i mean it could work absolutely perfectly but unfortunately you just didn't push it right in there you... Fuck! see they have a genji diva and everyone that can sort of get up in high ground and just shoot from a distance so what you want to do is take out the tanks take out the healers that so what, Fuck! Comp, what comp do they have mercy yeah so you want to make sure you just push right in there. It's going to be pretty hard for you to just wait until they get get to you. So Sim on this point, I definitely rec uh, I definitely change. Sim is no good. Yeah, we need another heals. Hopefully that's why she drops off. So, you basically got all of your spawns. You can do it with 5v6 and just yeah, exactly hold here, hold the choke, go in there. But you just need everyone else to join up with you. Otherwise, you're going to be shut down pretty quickly. Very good. That Roadhog's after me. That Genji's after me. Fuck. So, again, your whole team, like, even if you're in the best position you can be as Reaper, and, yeah, the enemy team is coming in, if your own teammates aren't pushing up with you or giving you the support there, uh, Reaper might just not work or you just might need to work around your team as well. I've just completely forgotten how to play this game. Yeah. So, what do we got now? So this is a pretty good comp against what they have. So you got the Winston, Hanzo and Genji, it's pretty easy, or get on the Mercy or the Moira. And then you've got, uh, you can obviously take out Roadhog, get Zaro on your hand as well. So it's it's not bad. I mean, in terms of like sort of counter picking, but it really depends on the play and where you position yourself. Just playing. And just pure skill as well. Sometimes you're just outclassed and you can't do anything about it. Through us. So it looks like you pretty much lost this point. They've got it right near there. I mean, Morris is on her own doing something. And it looks like your team's essentially just not there. Nice. Oh, it looks like far as above. Oh. Don't worry. Uh. Don't. Ah, uh, god damn it! Alright, so that's the worst thing. You, you're pretty low on health. They still had Roadhog and D.Va to eat up Defense Matrix. Mori could just disappear quickly so yeah 
probably not the best ultimate there. It's all about sort of ult comedy, you know, making sure you know what the ultimates they have or, you know, guessing what they've got and making sure you don't get in a position where they're going to destroy you with it. And making sure you sort of either grouped up or it's different positions. So, you know, especially with a Reaper and all that, you just want to be brawling. You want to get in there, just dive them. Guys, I'm really sorry. Really sorry. So what comp have they got now? I mean, Reaper can still work into this, but it's going to be pretty hard. I mean, you got Genji, Hanzo, good distance, so Genji can take you out easy. Diva's just going to eat it. Roadhog, you might think Reaper's a uh, counter to Roadhog, but it really depends on skill. Basically, he just needs sort of one little shot on you, and then he hooks, and then uh, shoots you again, melees, and you're dead. You know, so good Roadhogs can basically kill Reapers quite easy, especially with help with... Uh, uh, well, with any of their teammates there, with Diva eating up your damage. Oh my god, this is just a okay, when it gets to this point where you keep going down. So, I mean, that's the, that's one main major issue is trickling in, you know, when there's no... You just need to basically fully... Even if you just all wait at spawn, because they're just pushing up and taking you out, do that, just wait at spawn, and then it'll go out together. So they got grabs. I mean, that'd have been a great com combo with your ult. Bro dogs down. Oh my god! Fucking hell. Hmm. They've got a platinum player. Unfortunately, Sarah hasn't. Has she used her ult once? Or maybe she didn't get it. Because basically, you look, use it or lose it. But obviously in the right condition as well. Sure, sure. Guys, I think the problem is we have a grill. No, I don't think it's anything to do with it. Last time I heard someone say gorilla, usually it's monkey. I just call him monkey. Monkey's actually not too bad um, into that comp. But again, like I said, the comp doesn't really matter too much. This coordination, like you're trickling in, using notes incorrectly. Um, yeah, I think it's a position in. So, you know, things can work great as long as you just coordinate and position pretty well. All right, we're pretty stiff. We're, we're pretty screwed. They push pretty quickly, so we were, we're screwed. You never want to say that. Always, you know, I've had plenty of situations where we've hardly pushed it, but then we full hold. Uh, at the first point or something like that it, you never know or back when it was out of best out of three for uh, King of the Hill plenty of times where they've won two but then we just come back and won three so you never want to say this cause it puts everyone in doubt you kind of give up mentally and might even put other people in a bad mental state and basically just yeah oh, give it up please. lovely Oh my god. Huh? Huh? Are you gonna mercy place? Huh? 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 You know, if they if you know, you can't be disappointed if they haven't gone mercy, you know, basically it's better if they play the best hero they can, otherwise, you know, they just might not do any good. In this situation, yeah, mercy would probably be better. You know, you've got the fire for safety, you got monkey for safety as well, because you can jump up. Uh, the only issue is, uh, not really an issue. I mean, usually you don't want to combo Mercy. Oh no, sorry. I'm just thinking wrong there. Should be fine. Usually you, would do, you don't want to combo Mercy and Ana. You either want sort of like a, yeah, Moira, Zen, Lucio, and then Ana or Mercy, something like that. Like, I wanted to beat my... But again, like I said before, it doesn't I'm matter so too much. I'm so close to my career high. Oh my god. We all get like that, that's for sure. Look how, look how close I was to that. 2104. Four and a half minutes remaining. So it's like, unless we get an amazing push in there. So you go to Zarya. So obviously, I, I'd expect you to jump in, not use your bubble for like two seconds or for a little bit, and then put your 
put your shield down and start attacking. That gives you so much more time to get out of there just in case. And it gives Zarya a charge and then yeah, you can go go on from there. Like high and I'm, usually when I I have winning streaks and losing streaks, they don't really come sporadically. Watch out, they got a Moira up there. Nobody on the point at all. Now there is. Alright, so obviously you'd hold him as an age, just jumped on a point and they've just jumped on there as well. Some some cases could be good. I mean you might be able to get that get out of there in time and you've just distracted all of them to come onto the point and then you've got a high ground and you can just push in from there. But it doesn't look too great for you. That was a bad idea. No, you got a McCree up there as well. You always want to just sort of, you know, think before, think before you leap. Get the Moira. Oh. We got one elimination. I'm silver with one elimination. Right, everyone's dead. They should just die and group up. You don't want to sort of, you never want to sort of do any sort of poke stuff until your whole team's there and you can just push in. So obviously they've got the McCree and Soldier on the other side or just a McCree on the other side with a Mercy. You can just coordinate with Farah to just both dive on the McCree, kill him basically instantly. Mercy's not going to hang around. If she does, you can probably just kill her as well. And then obviously they've got the big tanks up there, so you might just want to do that or basically group up all together and go group up to the top there. Especially with Zarya, you, you just want to be with your Zarya, you know, in front, so you can just jump backwards and forwards between them, do damage, and push up. If you're trying to do your own flank thing, it just might not work. You might need to switch to Zarya, or maybe go Reinhardt yourself. So it looks like they're just going to dive you and kill you. And then you're, you're already sort of two down as well. You know, they've just killed you straight at the point just there. Exactly what I told you to do, you know, you just want to hold this choke here, you've got DPS, they've got DPS on this side and healers on this side. So they've got a very good position. Man, this is stupid. Oh. So yeah, like I said, if you've got like a bit of a brawler, especially with junk crack going through the top there, you do you want to stick with it. you don't want to sort of solo jump. You know, you don't really have a dive type of thing. So let's hope you go up to the top with your teammates. Just don't jump right on the point. Because you know, you know the McCree's probably going to be up there. Alright, so you never want to put your shield down immediately as you jump. I mean, you only want to do it when you feel like you need to. You know, if there's a Roadhog, if there's a McCree or something like that. Because you just might crucially need it later on. Fucking mercy there, damn it. Is he seriously chasing me? That's the best thing, soldier, you know. You're basically one of the only ones left. He can easily take you down, get ult charge. Because again, you hear the McCree, if anything, you want to jump up where the McCree is on the top right there. But it looks like the whole entire time, everyone's sort of splitting up. Splitting up. I mean, Tracer, yeah, she's she's meant to basically go the opposite side and grab attention and, yeah, be, be the flanker. All 
okay, that was bad. You know, that basically they've popped two support alts. And they, they, obviously you've got the soldier down, but I would have assessed the situation, jumped back on top, because they wouldn't have been able to do too much on too much to you on top. Alright, so I'd say one of your main jobs as monkey is if McCree is ulting, you want to get in his face. Hopefully if you've got bubble, you use it. If you've got ult, you're just bumping out of the way. And by the sounds of it, it's behind, so he could have been pushed off the edge. Oh my god. Or he was right there, maybe. So, you know, at this point, you know my keys aren't working. It's probably obviously too late to do too much about it, but the best idea would be to exchange either Zari or yourself, you know, go fully dive and dive on like the McCree or something, hiding or on the top there, or go a bit of a brawl, go Reinhardt, Zarya, and just push right in there with the junk rat, just spamming in there. Do you have any other words also to work with? So yeah, at this point, yep, yeah, mercy, perfect. Again, at this point, you want to jump on the soldier. Forget about the mercy. Mercy's down. See if you can clutch this out. Get the mercy, get the mercy. Mercy's down. Are we actually going to capture this point? Holy shit. So another good thing while we're capturing Don't the worry, point I got, I got with uh, Winston I mean, I just push him off of it. is you know you you want to include punches with your zap gun because you do more damage, especially if, against like Diva or Diva with uh, sorry, especially if you're on Diva because the shielding her armor basically or anyone with the armor it takes it does half the damage with his gun, so you want to melee and just take that down a lot quicker. You also, every, you also, you want to jump quite a bit as well, because each time you jump and then you do a quick melee, it does quite a bit of damage. So jumping on, especially if everyone's sort of clumped together and you jump, it's going to damage everyone in that vicinity. But it's like, we captured it near the end and they pushed it like cleanly through and we have like, you know, we got to go do it the hard way. It goes all right, those things drop. Right again, so you kill someone quite late there and there's someone pushing right up. Especially monkey, you jump right in there and try and get some stagger steel kills. You know, there's only there's only two there. Uh, there's, the others are still going to be a little far back. You could have just jumped in there, killed these people, and got a really good stagger because they're just pushing right up. So you got your Zara Bob. You know, Zara can bubble. You just jump in there. You get damage for, or charge for her, and then you just try and take out some people. And again, you never want to do this unless you really need to. All right. Make sure you jump as well. Yep. All right, got the um, Moira. No, nope, she's rest. So you probably would have had shield back then. If you put shield down, you might not have died, and then you could have jumped up on a platform there. So you always want to make sure what you got on your cooldown, because you can do quite a bit of escaping. Because there's no one on their team that can pretty much get to you, anyways. All right, so I'd pretty much say Winston's probably a really bad pick against this, unless you all pushing there really quickly and you get the mercy because they're all clumped up they've got a roadhog they've got a reaper even a 
Arista is really good against you. There's no such thing as the internet being quiet, I don't think. I think it's like... Yeah, I'd say just get out of there. There's no point in being there. Okay, so this is extremely bad. Especially being monkey in the big tank, you've just given them free ult charge for diving in there when you definitely have lost the fight. Even if you can get one, you probably, yeah, they can either get rezzed or, yeah, just hold you still f quickly. I want to try Roadhog actually. So yeah, Red Ox pretty good. Obviously, he's got a lot of, lot of health and a lot of survivability. Ah, oh, behind us! Watch out, behind us! Soldier behind us! The soldier behind us, guys! Unfortunately, it looks like he's got up there way before anyone else can call him out, and then he's used ult and killed you. Get that soldier! Shit! See that soldier just stuffed us up all completely. Well, that could be also a good thing. If he's still back up there, you push right in front. It's going to take him a little while to get forward and then push you. If something like that happens, and you just quickly push forward and kill the other people because they're down a DPS, then that could be pretty good. Now, don't be don't be afraid as Roadhog to just get right in their face and shoot. You know, you've got so much health, you can obviously heal yourself. So you just like push right in. How about you, Banzai? How you been today, man? You been going good? Things yeah, been going all right? Oh, nice, man. Nice. Watch out behind us, is the Roadhog. Perfect, perfect, cool. Roadhog's down. Beautiful. Got him. So you basically reloaded straight after you killed someone when there's a Reaper there. Like, if you've got people to shoot, you've got people to do damage to, you want to do that. You don't want to be reloading in the middle of fight because it's like, what, two seconds? 1.45 seconds or something like that to reload. So it's pretty bad if you do that. And it looks like, yeah, now he's pretty much killed. Ah, oh, lucky. Alright, very bad there. I mean, obviously your bro dog, oh, looks like Mercy's going in to res the Reaper. She's going to be basically standing still, and that's just going to annihilate her in a matter of, like, a second. And you can easily hide from these two just behind the cart, and still, obviously, object, uh, uh, contest it, while killing the Mercy as well. Hopefully... Ah, oh, shit. Get him off. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so... So, priorities. Prioritizing, you know, the mercy went in there. You could have easily just pulled back and just killed her quickly before she even rezzed the Reaper, and then, and then just basically, you can even just hide behind the car until the others are ready to go in, and then heal yourself, and then push right in. Ah, uh, no, they've all pushed up with a thing. Uh... So that's unfortunate. How much did I fall over those two games? That was pretty bad. So, I mean, I'm going to end it there. There's quite a bit, you know, I think hopefully I've pointed out. So, again, just to suck, slightly review over it, you know, team comps is not too too important. It's not even too important for, like, counter picks. You know, it's about coordination, even aim, and things like that, you know. For instance, that, that new Nimbani, if you held right at the top there, you could have just stopped them from pushing all the way in. You know, healers on the other side, so they're far distance all behind you, so they're quite safe as well. And they can get a lot of healing off, especially if all the tanks are grouped up together. So the Yana could have easily healed you all up, but 
unfortunately you sort of just let them push in as you was on the on the um on the point to set it up there especially with reaper you just you know with reaper you want to be basically hiding just around the corner in a position where they're going to push through and then you just do some big burst damage and then you just ray form out get healed and then hopefully you can just like yeah keep pushing forward and kill them before they do anything uh Zen obviously I think just focused on a bit too much DPSing and not uh, putting your orb on the most essential people you know and position you know positioning as well you know like I said there's no drop off damage to Zen's orbs you can just fire from the other side and the map's going to do the same damage so you want to make sure you're in a position where you can just spam the choke you can obviously still heal your teammates and then you're in a safe position safe position there Monkey, like you said, you not too much time on Monkey. It can be a bit tricky to, to sort of know what to do. I mean, it looked like you were just trying to take on the team yourself. You know, we, when you got a Zarya, you got a Junkrat, and they're going to the top, that you, you want to go on the top. And probably Monkey won't be that great into it. You probably want to switch to a Ryan there um, and then push through. Because the McCree wouldn't be able to do anything if you kind of stayed slightly hidden and then you just pressure him later on, you know, focus on the tanks and that, other, that are up there and then kill them and then get the rest of them later on but unfortunately yeah it's, and it's all about a learning curve as well you know there's tiny other little tips you can do uh like like winston you can jump do a quick melee uh just as you jump so you do a tiny bit of extra damage you don't always have to put your bubble down immediately it depends on who it is you know if it's mccree you might want to put it down well before you full just so he can't flashbang you shoot you and then uh roll out and then basically you don't want to follow him because he's just going to kill you in like one two more shots uh obviously reaper you just want to avoid him you can play winston in, into reaper definitely but um it really depends on their positioning how well you do what comp you've got so you know if the reaper isn't near their Arna, you just dive on the Arna, take them out take out a good healer and then your other teammates take him out so you can work anything into anything sort of add a lower elo but eventually yeah cancer sort of picking you know there's a really good fire you just need double hit scan or something um but yeah uh hopefully that's helped you out a bit and yeah just gonna finish it off there cheers